about the other thing. You remember, I think I may have told you. When I put this together and I drilled out these holes in the front, I wanted to put a speaker in there. So I found some speakers that I ordered. I thought I ordered two. I thought it was a pair. I thought they came two. I got to check because only one came. Now it's not a bad little speaker, and I think it's going to fit right in there. It does. Look at that. Fits in there just like it belongs. Perfect. Now I just want to make sure there's nothing in there that's going to stick up and pop the paper. Pop the paper. I don't want a paper popper. But I need to find out. I'm going to have to look up my order. The model number of that, by the way, if in fact you're looking at a little speaker for something. Uh, but as I was saying, I thought I ordered two because they weren't expensive. You guys know how I am with having two so I don't run out. In this case, I ran out and I didn't have any. So I'm almost positive I ordered two. Oh, hey, I didn't, I don't think I put that in there permanently yet, did I? Did I do? Okay. Like I said, I, I'm almost positive I ordered two. And then I gotta talk to you about these. I do. Alright. It'd be easier to solder a set of wires on that now. Let me try to solder on this. I don't want a solid core, but I want something that's going to be small and flexible. Uh, this is perfect because it is flexible, I and mean, it's not super flexible. I got that epoxy on me, so everything's going to stick to me. I mean, this is too small, but then again, it's too short. save a lot of these wires because you never know what you're going to need and when you're going to need it. In this case, it's too thin. I mean, I don't need real heavy because I'm not running a lot of power, but I don't want to make it so thin that i got to worry about it breaking. Data cable. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Is that? Wow, this is something here. I'm not going to be able to use this, but now that I'm looking at it, I want to see what it is and why it's in here and not over there. If it's what I think it is, it should be over there. It is what I think it is. So, I'm going to have to put it in here. Actually, if it was, I don't think it's going to. That softens up a little bit. That would be perfect, actually. So this is good, but the casing is no, it's too thick. But the wire size is good. But I want it 
I want it together. These are separates in here, so I'm just gonna have two wires that's gonna get in the way. So if they're gonna be two separate, this is good, but this is solid core, so I don't want solid core. So back basically, this is the good size, but that's one only. And if I have a ground for that, then I'm going to have two wires that I got to worry about. And then if I part, start putting something on to keep them together, I'm thickening the wire. This looks like it may have no solid core. the heat gets to it, you know, the, the warmer weather, it may come back okay, and then next winter, I believe it should be okay, I don't know, so I want to take that chance, this is good, but it's too thick, oh, wait a minute, 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 I think, I think I got a home run here, Got the right size, the right thickness, by right size I mean length, it's two individuals, it's not a solid core, bingo. I'm doing is just cleaning off the ends a little bit on this. So I'll have clean ends to work with and solder with. Hey, it doesn't seem like a bad day out there. A little chilly in here. Let me turn that on for just a minute. I don't have to start the fire because it, it's actually nice out there. It's about 60 degrees and sunny. So it may be okay. Now last night when the, the wife was taking the boys out, you know, they can go out by themselves, but they need one of us to go out there with them. That's all there is to it. And more so the wife. She's the nurturer. Um, and over, even though it's on this side of the fence, it's on the other property, where I dug that hole that I was going to put an underground thing in for the tractors, an underground supply shed, because I don't like these outbuildings, I've said that before. But anyway, 
about 7 30 8 o'clock before they get their little midnight snack or go to bed snack the wife takes them out for a little walk in the yard need her go out Below where it starts to go into the hole, so I guess you would call it the side of the wall of the hole. The two boys are going nuts over there, and apparently um, they found a possum nest. And Mama Possum apparently wasn't around, and there were five babies in there, and unfortunately. Boys found them and ate them. I know that's nature, but you know how I am with life. I okay. So we have those soldered on there. Now I'm still going to want to put a strain relief someplace because I don't want these wires to accidentally get pulled. So I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to uh, what well, can I do it now? I'm going to tie a little knot in this. And that'll give me a little bit there. And then I'll be able to, uh, let me see, we don't want to guide that knot in the back, right to there. That's it. Good. I got to do a little hole, a little, a little hole. I need a sip of coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do I want to mount that speaker in there? Do I really want to use screws? I don't have to. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Because then I can you know, I can probably finish it off anyway. I was trying to debate here what I wanted to do with the speakers. Do I want to glue them in epoxy and then you know what? Well, I'll put a little epoxy and that'll let me that'll dry real quick so I can at least finish it off. I could put some sealing on it so it wasn't won't vibrate and make me crazy. Besides, this is getting old. I gotta end up, I'm gonna have to buy more anyway. I mean, it's getting so it doesn't even wanna. It's, it's there, it's good, it's just that it's pasty. So it doesn't wanna come out of the bottle, like it's going bad type of thing. The hardener's fine. It's the other. Another stick. Another stick. So, like I said, I gotta, uh, I don't have to, but I have to. Eventually it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't. The tractor. And even if I get it running, and uh, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound right. 
I can probably just let it run and maybe the the lines will clear out. There, now where's that not? Right there. Not there. I'm going to tuck that down in there and put you right there. the difference. The one with the black handle is the one that has the round staples. Now for this end. And that's going to be a standard plug. So I'm not going to have to go nut. I'm just going to find the plug draw. Plug draw. different sizes here and there's different rings. Remember I told you about them? That's a stereo plug. It has two rings. This is a mono plug. There's another one there. Another that can be uh, a microphone. Uh, it could be um, audio or video. Not too much video but definitely a microphone. Now what I am noticing here is, this is my last mono, that size, and that's the standard size, see, here's a smaller one. couple months I can't get out I don't think of these things if I'm not using them and now this getting out has nothing to do with it because I ordered these online anyway but I think just everything in general you know I, I'm, I'm just forgetting a lot of this stuff that's all there is to it let's move you guys over here for a minute all right, let's get a little um, flux on the wire here so I can get some solder flowing. Now, if you remember, I said I'm going to put the light color on the uh, positive side. Well, on this plug, the center, the light color being the positive side, in this case, it's a speaker, but in this case, in all cases, no, not necessarily, i got to change that. In this case, the center, the tip, is going to be the positive. 
most of your speakers are tip positive. However, when it comes to power on those little transformer things, uh, you got to look at it. It'll say on the back if it's a uh, tip or ring on what it is as far as power or not. Because if you do hook it up thinking the center is positive and it's a negative, you got problems. Could be minor, could be serious, serious like you blew it up. Minor like you just blew a fuse. Okay, so what I want to do here now is I want to put some tin on this. Put them on there. Yeah, I'll put some tin on the wire. That'll help everything flow and make a connection quicker. So I don't overheat anything. Now, I did that. Sometimes when you heat the wire, the wire itself rolls back a little bit. So the bare wire is a little bit longer than what you expect it to be. Well, you trim it down a little bit because you really don't need all that. Okay, so now the dark wire is going to go to the shield side or the outside. So we're going to hook that to here. And I'm going to hook this one to here. Come on, be nice. Don't be falling on me now. Always make sure you put this on first, because otherwise you have to take it all apart again. Now I'm going to let it cool for just a second. <coughs> but the bo the bottom one here, the longer of the two, which is the ground at this point, has a set of little ears sticking up. So I don't want to do it now because it's still a little hot. But before I put it together, I'm going to push those down. And I'm going to close those because that will put a strain relief on the wires so that it doesn't uh, pull off the plugs and break the solder. So I'm going to do that now, give myself just a little bit of loop, and close these. This way if you yank on it, it's got something to help hold the plug together and the wires from coming undone. that a little bit more. You don't want to go so tight that you pinch the casings because then you're going to have a short. You just want to go tight enough to hold it. I'm even going to put a little of this on there just to kind of make sure. Normally I wouldn't do this, but it's right there. And this is probably never going to be replaced. If it is, it's going to be a complete system replaced, not just the end. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll take this end and bring it up here. Put it over this, screw it on. Now that'll plug into the back of just about any radio, as far as like CB or transceiver or transmitters or receivers or anything. That's that's a standard. That's a standard size plug. They do have standards. Yeah, I got a call earlier. <coughs> 